Hey guys, it's Tim Verdau and welcome to my Vit Chomper review. And as you can see right now, I'm in the dashboard of Vit Chomper. And in a nutshell, what this software does is it allows you to search for videos on YouTube and then you can select those videos. So let's say you take two, three videos from YouTube, you select those videos and then it chomps them together uh, and you're also able to edit those videos a little bit at the end with an end screen or a put a voice over on top of it stuff like that but i think the best thing is just to show you how it works so that you can see it with your own eyes as you can see here um this is the start screen and i really like the whole design of vid jumper it's really modern from this time little uh funny uh, creature here um, but it speaks for itself how this works so you can go to your library these are actually two big buttons uh, and you click on create new video and then it's going to uh, go to the first part it's the same as the left menu here you see search videos that's where we landed right now and here you can search from videos from YouTube so let's say I want to have a video I want to create new videos about funny dogs that I want to go let's uh, I want these videos to go viral so I type, I type in here funny dogs and then what Vit Chomper is going to do, it's going to show me videos uh, from funny dogs from YouTube and I can select those videos. So for example, if I say I want to have this talking dog and then also I want to select this video and I want to select this video, I'm just selecting three videos right now. Uh, once, I'm, once I've done, I can click on next here and then it's going to put these videos together is going to show me the videos that I just selected. Now these videos are, you're allowed to download these videos and use these videos because they have the rights uh, selected on YouTube that you can use, reuse these videos. And here you can see the three videos that have been used. So what you're now going to do is you're going to give your project a name. So vid jumper test or demo, let's call it vid jumper demo. And then you can click on join videos. Now, what VidChomper is going to do now is it's going to take those three videos and then it's going to jump them together so that it becomes one unique video. And as you can see right now, the rendering is already done and it's going to play. So I'm going to stop that right now. Um, but these videos are now one video in here. These are now three videos in one. So what you can do then is you can click on the edit button in here and then you have a few options. You can trim this video. So if you want to make it smaller, you can do that. You can put an, uh, an outro at the end and you can edit this video. So when I click on edit, there will be a few options that I can choose from to edit this video. It allows me to do some extra things. So now it's going to take this video and it's bringing me to the next screen here where I can edit some stuff in here. So here you can add some text on top of it if you like to. So let's say subscribe. Uh, oh, subscribe, subscribe. And then I can do this, for example, to get, get daily updates. For example, you can you can do whatever you want. Let's say you want to have this, and then you can change the text color. Also, you can make it red. You can you can you can make it any color. You see, you can make it green. Green. Um, you can change the fonts, so you can also change the, the different kind of fonts that you that you want to choose from here. Um, and then once you've done that, so let's say I want to have this one. You can change the size also. Uh, then you can export the video. Now you can also do some other stuff. You can also put your own image on top. So here it says choose icon and here you're allowed to upload your own images. So I have a picture, let's say this picture, I want to use this picture. And if I don't like it, I can simply choose another one. So I also have a dog in here, uh, here, transparent dog. So this doggy can be at the right top of this video if I want to have that uh, and move it over there. And I can also add some music. So when, once I do this, there, there are a few options in here. So what I can do is I can do a text to speech. So here there's English and I can type, hey, dogs are awesome. And I can do this and then I can convert this. And what it's going to do, I don't know if you can hear this, um, but listen. Hey, dogs are awesome. Do you see that? Now it's going to, uh, 
from the text that I created, it's going to create a speech like you just heard. Hey, dogs are awesome. So you can, you can choose this one to be added to, to your video uh, and then you can convert this. Now, I have to say that you only can choose one option or you use this text to speech. Now, there's one downside to this and that is that it only allows 100 characters but i got a fix for that in my bonuses so make sure you also click the link below this video that will redirect you to my bonuses where i'm also giving you an option to create longer speech to video or spe uh, speech text to speech options uh, so you definitely want to check that out if you want to use that feature then you also have the voice recording where you can record your own voice and then you can add that to vidchomper to your vidchomper video or you can choose from a library, as you can see here, uh, with audio files, you can listen to them. And then if you want to use that, you can simply select this option and it's going to add the music on top of this video. Now, you need to be aware that when you do this, that the original sound of the video will be deleted and will be replaced with the music video. And of course, you can also upload your own music uh, or voiceover or whatever you have to put uh, behind this video. So let's say I want to have this music with this ukulele. Uh, I can click on export video and now it's going to export this video. And I'm sorry, I see that I'm now on top of it, uh, but I think you, you saw it, what I did. So here you have the music library where you can choose from the, the music songs. And here you got the desktop where you can upload your own audio file. And here's the text to speech at the top. You've already seen that. So right now, as you can see here, let me move myself or let me get myself out of the screen. You can see here at the right bottom that it's exporting this video. So this is going to take a little while, depending on how long your video is. Um, the longer the video, the longer the export will take. Uh, and once this is done, it's going to add it to the My Video section here at the left side. So I'm not gonna wait uh, during this review because that's going to waste your time. So I'm gonna pause this video and come back. All right, so now I'm back and the render is done. It took about two minutes uh, to, to render this video of five minutes. So that's a bit of the rendering time right now. Uh, and the video is ready. As you can see when I play this now, and I don't know if you can hear the sound, but I'm gonna play it. So as you could see, um, it now chums the video and it made one video of these videos with my um, text on top of it and with my image on top of it, as you can see here. So this was not really done really well, uh, but it's just to show you the ID. Now I can even edit this video again and I can also add an outro at the end. So when I click on outro, I'm also able to create an outro. So let me stop this video again. Uh, and I can choose how long this outro needs to be. So I can say I wanna have an outro of five seconds and then I can choose an image from the image library in here. So right now I don't see the images. Let me try to refresh the screen to see if that's possible. And let me go to the image library. I think they're still working on it. This is a, a few weeks before they've released the product itself. Uh, but what I saw yesterday is that there are different images in here that you can choose from, the different colors that you can choose from. And there are some images uploaded in here um, that you can choose from, or you can upload your own background as an end screen. But let's say we're gonna take this black one. Uh, then you're able also to uh, go to the next screen where you're able to also add some text. So again, here you can say subscribe and then get, day, get my daily updates, get daily updates. And again, here you can do the exact same thing. So you can also choose to, to change the, the size, the font in here. Um, here you can change the different kinds of fonts that you're going to use for this specific text. You also can change the size of here, of, of the text in here. So you can say subscribe, get daily updates, and you can do an animation where you can fade it in. You can change the colors uh, from the text color. So you can say, I wanna have this red uh, and I wanna have this red also. You're able to 
change those stuff in here and then also the background you can also change the background behind uh, the text here so let me zoom a bit in so that you can see it you see i can change the background here after subscribe and if i like that i can also do a call to action so i can do arrows here at the bottom uh, pointing upwards and i can add buttons to the screen also so order now for example if i want to have that uh, and then at the end, once I've done that, I can simply, I can delete these buttons again. I can move these buttons here, order now. And then once I've done, I can simply uh, select, continue here, video rendering or save image first. And then I can do video rendering and then it will render the video again with the end screen added to this video. So... Yeah, basically what Vinchomper is doing is taking multiple videos, it chomps them to one video, you're able to put sound on top of it, and at the end you're able to put your own outro screen, and then you can upload those videos, you can download them, and you can upload them to your own YouTube channel uh, with completely new videos that were not on YouTube before, so that you have unique videos. So that's basically what VidChomper is all about. It's an online platform. You don't need to install anything, so it will work on Mac and Windows. Uh, but that's what you can do with VidChomper. Now, there's a link below this video uh, that will redirect you to my website because I also got some cool bonuses uh, that you want to have to get with this product when you purchase VidChomper through my link. So make sure you check that out. I don't have them ready right now doing this review. So make sure you click that link. Also, the upsells um, that you can expect in the funnel are listed on my website so uh, make sure you check out the link below this video all right if you like those videos make sure you subscribe to my channel uh, hit that notification button so that you get the latest updates from me for now thank you for watching if you have any questions make sure you ask them below this video or just contact me on my website and uh, thank you for watching and i hope to see you in my next review have an awesome day talk soon Bye bye